four or five weeks out, I'm still riding like a confidence high. Like, oh wow. Like, I feel pretty badass. <laughs> <laughs> So you originally booked with me at the beginning of August, mm -hmm. and then you canceled a short time later, mm -hmm. and then you rebooked with me three weeks after that, mm -hmm. and I learned from you that you had kind of gotten cold feet. Yeah. So. Big time. <laughs> tell me a little bit about sort of what was going through your head when you booked, and then you canceled, and then and then you rebooked. I wanted to do the experience, and when I called you, I was so gung-ho about it and then you sent over the contract and I don't I just I think I started listening to my anxieties like you're not you know your body isn't where you want it to be do you really want it to be captured now like and um, you know originally I felt like you know I, I wanted to invest in myself like that but then I was like who's gonna look at them and th when I finally like reached back out like I just felt like, no, like you wanted to do this for a reason. You are worthy of it. It is something, you know, it doesn't have to be for anyone but yourself. And I'm so happy I went through with it. So how are you feeling the day of your shoot sort of leading up to the time when you arrived at the studio? Um, super sweaty hands. I had probably about three pep talks <laughs> to myself. Um, Butterflies. Yes. Well, that, that's, yes. That's common. I mean, like that, a that's first typical. date type thing. Yeah, kind of. Definitely. Super nervous, super anxious. But you persevered. Yeah. It was definitely like a transformation. Like, I think the first five or so shots I saw, I'm like, I look so nervous. I look so uptight. And then, like, by the end, I think I just embraced it and just completely, like, it was just complete 180. Did showing you the back of the camera... That helped. That usually is a big mental... And that probably was when they started to like loosen up yeah. and really be... Yeah, because I was like, how's this looking? How's this, you know, is he zooming in on this part that I might not love or is this? And no, like... Yeah. I was like, that's me. <laughs> once once they see uh, mm -hmm. a few shots, they're like, oh, that looks... Good. Pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. For sure. Um, Keep doing that. <laughs> what was the biggest unexpected benefit that you got from the whole boudoir experience? I think that I'm still like a month or what, four or five weeks out, I'm still riding like a confidence high. Like, oh wow. Like, I feel pretty badass. <laughs> <laughs> like, I do, like, and I oh, never man. would have expected that. Like, yeah. I got so much out of this and I would, Definitely recommend it. So what made you want to do a session with me as opposed to, you know, a number of other boudoir photographers that you could have gone with in um, the area? I liked, I liked your style. I liked that it wasn't like overly sexualized. Gratuitous. Yeah. Um, I liked that it hinted towards, you know, my figure and my sexuality, but it wasn't so in your face out there. So I, I think that helped my anxiety too, that I wasn't going to be just, you know, bare breast or bare bum. I always like the hint and the tease and yeah. what's off camera and because it makes your imagination fill in the rest, yeah, the, the gaps. And that's just my personal preference. And it really like resonated with me. Thank you so much. I am so thankful for what Thank I got you. out of this, you know, <laughs> so thankful and I wouldn't be shocked if I was a repeat customer. <laughs> <laughs>